Hello and welcome. It's Sunday afternoon football. Anthony Hudson with you today. A bit of cloud cover overhead for today's encounter. You'd want to win the toss today, given the type of breeze we're seeing at the moment. Gary Lyon joins me for this match. Welcome, Gaz. What a game we have here today, Hutto. There's been quite a build-up for this one. Hitting the turf today will be Fremantle and Melbourne. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. Melbourne, they've got a talented group in the middle. It's up to whether or not Fremantle can match them in the centre. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners are ready for the players. Captains prepare for the toss of the corner. Melbourne kicking to the right of screen. The fans of both sides are waiting this one. And here we go. It's Fremantle taking on Melbourne. She can take off after that handball. Nice mark under pressure. 45 metres out. Keep it on. She likes her chances from here. Antonia does well to mark. Looks to move it by foot. Gets into a good position to take that. Goes by foot. Tarrant collects the loose ball, manages to get it onto the boot. They can create from this. Takes possession. Going for goal number one. Melbourne finds a way to get that one through. Jacobson love kicking that one. Puts the first goal on the ball. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. About to resume hostilities. Slapped away. Ends up with Paxman. Up for grabs for Goday. A big contested grab. Fans crossing their fingers. Hoping she can put this one through the big sticks. Marks now and can send it back. Looks up with a kick. Takes a strong mark. Uses it by foot. Pierce couldn't snaffle it. The ball spills to Kane. Hurried kick. She gets above the crowd. Moves it by foot. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Sinks the slipper into it. A great mark taken there. Miller with a drilling ball. It's a foot race to get this one. Sanka was taken high in the tackle. Puts boot to ball. Found space for an easy mark. Good grab there from Pierce. Elects to kick it long. A chance to gather the ball. This is Duffy. Puts it on the boot. Great grab. A low stabbing kick. Terrific mark there. Chips it towards half forward. Takes a nice mark. Wants to play on. Dug out the loose ball. She's got the football now. High tackle. Going for goal number one. Pressure bearing down. Gets some reward for her efforts. 
That's the first goal for Freeman. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about now. We resume hostilities. Hammers it. She gets her hands on the footy. Paxman takes the mark. 45 metres out. She takes aim. She was celebrating the moment that left her boot. Of course, Hannah. Paxman celebrates with the fans. Melbourne, fire goal. About to resume play. Piers got the tap. Has it now. Court next drops the mark. Great tackling technique. Knocks up her first touch. Just sends it into space. She gains the possession. There to mop up. Does well to cut off the kick. Antonio elects to kick. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. With quick hands. Oh, someone's on the ground. O'Day doesn't look likely to come back on. Moved on by Jacobson. Good mark by Mithen. Big kick required from this distance. What did you make of the first term, Gaz? Melbourne should be pleased with how they've started. If they can build on that quarter, they'll be hard to stop. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? Melbourne are gaining a lot of their advantage. Players ready to start the second quarter. The game is back underway. Swats it. She's got the footy in her hands. Gets it away. O'Day gets her hard. Off the deck. They can create from this. Haven't seen her for a while, guys. She hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Her first possession. 45 metres out. Just got a hand to that one. Looking to bring it back into play. A strong pack mark. Bangs it on the boot now. O'Sullivan gets in a good position. Stabs at the kick. Kane controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Melbourne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Goal scoring opportunity for Scott. 45 metres out. Deep in the pocket. It's going to take a good kick from here. That's true, Hutto. She heads for home. Doing well with the mark. 10 metres out. Dancing through for another. Congratulated by her teammates. 13 points the difference. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Pierce thumped it clear. Paxman gets a quick kick away. Good mark and looks to send it back. Gooch goes with the kick. She doesn't want to let her teammates down with this shot of goal. No issues with that drop pass. That will settle her nerves. Gets her first on the ball. And that puts them further in front. Oh, look at her. She really enjoyed that one. Pierce got a fist to it. She has the ball. Gooch, hurried kick. Mascot marks. 
with a driving kick. She takes the mark. Moves the ball by foot. Takes a simple grab. Elects to kick. Mass goal. Found a way to mark that one. Got boot to ball. A mark by Birch. Chose to kick it. And the mark will be paid. Decides to kick. Gay is the body to take that mark. Goes with the kick. Takes the mark. Zankak moves it now. Bird takes it strongly. Heads inside 50. O'Sullivan couldn't stick the tackle. Over the top of the pack. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Smiles all round. Melbourne with the ascendancy over the Dockers, leading 31 to 6. Thumps it clear. Quickly onto the boot. Off hands from Pierce. Slams it onto the boot. Tarrant leaps over the top. 45 metres out. She can put it through. Gets into some space to mark this. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. Well within range from here. She decides to go for home. She acknowledges the crowd. Melbourne have kicked the last five goals. The margin is 31. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Melbourne are getting the ball inside 50 more than the opposition. And at the moment, they half time and it's Melbourne 37 to Fremantle 6. Melbourne will go into the rooms at half time with plenty of confidence and back themselves for the second half. The game promises plenty. We have a big second half coming up. Players back on the field to begin the second half here. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Receives the handball and takes off. A good mark under the circumstances. Elects to kick. Finds the loose ball. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Awkwardly got the handball out. It's cut off by Kane. The chance to reload the attack now. Uses it by foot. The ball ends up with Haxman. Keeps going. Sinks the slipper into it. Doing well to intercept that kick. Antonio puts it on the boot. Good body work to win the mark. Got boot to ball. Duffy found some space and mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Melbourne forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Breslin will be the recipient of the free. Melbourne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forwards' fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Good. Just streaming past and gets the footy. Just put it on the boot. Bowers runs. If they kick this, they give themselves a chance. Fremantle fighting hard, but still with work to do. Marks all alone. Releases the handball. Just put her hands at the back of the opponent. And it's a free. Punches the kick. Takes that one strongly. Plays on quickly. McAvoy didn't dispose of it correctly and hands it over. Outstanding pressure. Run. 
She drives it towards goal. A drop punt through the goal. Gets her first. She celebrates hard after that. Fremantle behind by 24. We're back in the middle now. Clears the contest. Pierce comes away with the ball. Marks in a bit of space. Paxman just threw it. Slams it on the boot. Landed in her back on this occasion. Kick by Clifford. Finds this and marks well. Penetrating handball. They can link up now. Maskell gets in the way. Can't take possession. Scott gets the loose ball. Fantastic pressure there. McMahon on the ball. Is in her possession. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Works it across the ground. Hurry kick. Cordner will be upset with that. Hanks wants to keep it moving by hand. She's on fire at the moment, Gaz. She just keeps finding the footy. Advances through the tackle. Paxman grabs that one. Opportunity once again for Melbourne to put one through. Going for goal number two. Sometimes you just sit back and enjoy the show. She's excited about that one. Melbourne by five goals. Umpire ready to resume play. Pierce slaps it away. Mascor couldn't complete the tackle. Downey gets on the end of that handball. Here's a chance for Maxwell. 45 metres out. She heads for home. Hook the kick wide. And it behind. Melbourne lead Fremantle by 31. Looking for options now. Got hands to it. She's getting a lot of the ball, Gaz. She's been outstanding here, Hunter. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? There's just not enough effort out there at the minute. Won the hit out. Contest the hard ball. Melbourne fans would love to see this one sail through. Just not good enough with that kick. Melbourne, 45, lead. We have one quarter left to play. What caught your eye, Gary? Melbourne walk into three-quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. Anything to add, Gaz? Fremantle have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the ball for a moment. Much appreciated, Gaz. We have one quarter of footy ahead of us. Let's go. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Won it down with the ball now. Just gave it away. She just throws that ball. The kick from Jacobson. Taking a nice grab. Breslin goes with the kick. A race for the loose ball. Goes off the ground. Cleverly suckers it off the ground for a goal. Puts through her third goal. She loved that one. Melbourne doing well at the moment. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. She did really well there and gets the reward. Melbourne got on top in the turnovers. They don't allow the opposition easy possessions, and that's why they're on top. She has the ball. Dishes it off. With the ball now. 
Takes the mark all by himself. Straight through the middle. This kick puts them further into the lead. They get around her after that effort. The margin is 44. Punches are clear. Doing well was Kane. Great mark. 45 metres out. This shouldn't be too difficult for Miller. Going for goal number one. The Dockers send one home. Pretty happy with that one. The margin a big one, but still plenty of time. Thrashes it. Controlled well off the bounce. Williams got under it. Puts boot to ball. Using every ounce of energy she has left. Looks like the ball will be coming back. McAvoy channels a long kick. Piers marks it. Puts it on the boot. It's marked by Birch. Chose to kick it. Scott gets on the end of this. Nobody can hold on here. Smith finds a way to hang on. Great attack on the ball carrier. Not many touches of the ball for her. Cordnick moves it now. Emerson with an easy mark. This is kickable by her standards. Normally a good shot on goal. They can take the sting right out of the game here. She likes her chances from here. Stands tall and marks. 20 metres out. Four goals to her name so far. Looking for it with. She acknowledges the crowd. Melbourne beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 63 to 19. Punched away. Made the tricky bounce look easy. Clumsy tackle results in a free kick. Decides to kick. Keeps it alive. Under some pressure. Couldn't go on with it. Ball goes out. Looks like we'll have a throw in. Another goal here in this game could be well and truly over. Slapped away. Takes possession. Scott with quick hands. Hits the target by hand. It's a turnover. Just releases the ball. Birch gets the ball. She's got the footy in her hands. Ends up marking uncontested. Goes with the kick. Great mark under pressure. Might be too far out to score. The Demons could kick the last two goals. Now they lead by 50. That's a really good team goal. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. We're back in motion. Thumps it clear. Fighting hard was ours. Quickly onto the boot. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Clifford uses it by foot. O'Sullivan hangs onto that one. With a driving kick, the mark has been taken. The Demons haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning toe of that one. Good opportunity for Fremantle to put a goal through here. 30 metres out. Just as the post and a minor score. The game never reached any great heights, and it ended as a bit of a one-sided affair. What stood out for you today, Gary? Just a fantastic performance from Melbourne. They really put in the hard yards and they can enjoy the result. Thanks. Sing this song to Final scores are 69 to 20.
that's all for today on behalf of myself, Gary Lyon. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Sing this song to you, through the